Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here. I'm just getting in the mood of the scary game because scary shit's happening. Hey, do something weird again. Okay. Oh, you know what? He probably turned into that ghost or demon bunny thing for like a second. That's probably what. The... Yeah, use it. Where is Mr. Snake? Seems the snake has escaped. But it was a really cute snake. Is this actually going to be a horror element snake now? Cemetery, huh? Welcome to the cemetery! These are the graves of the books that have been forgotten. Who's this? Oh no, we forgot! We don't even know their names! They're all just dead. Why did you die? Uh, you're an incredible book! Don't cry, even if you can't see me, I'll always be by your side. What happened? Why can't the other books see me? Because you're dead. I came to visit the grave of my best friend. I hope he likes these flowers. I hope so, too. What a sight. That ain't no cute snake anymore. Labyrinth. Okay. Well, I'm scared. Let's go. I guess I shouldn't move so quickly. And I should look at the edge of my visual. To, uh, you know. To see what the fuck is happening. Alright, Mr. Snake. Alright, so there's like little little boys jumping around. Okay, so he's right there. I can see him. So not that way. How many snack can there be? There's just one snack. Any other snack? You ain't no snack. You a dead end. You also a dead end. Snack's still there. There's someone hiding behind here. <laughs> still scared me! I knew he was there and I still fucking scared me. <sighs> okay, alright, alright, it's fine. Just pay attention for Snack. No Snack. Okay. Okay. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. We're good. Is there only snack at the beginning? Okay, well that looks like the exit. What's over there? One step at a time. What? Nothing? It's a pile of skulls? I mean, that's just a normal thing every, every house has. So the snake was only going to be the first kill? Are we out? Okay, thank you. Save point. Oh, why am I so on edge? Alright, let's go up this ladder. Hey! Hey, you! Hey, you? Ow! Oh, my old friend bear. Oh, definitely my old friend the bear. Just go, just fucking walk in his direction and he fucking sits on you, man. What an asshole. Fuck bear. Bears. Okay, cool. Ghost. There's a cute ghost. Okay, let's, uh, let's not... It wouldn't let me leave. Also, one of them sounded like a tiger. I recognize that sound effect too well because it's one of the default RPG Maker sounds. Hmm, there's a math book over here. Oh no. Not math. Not math, please. No, it must be a mistake. It's not a mistake. These are the scariest books that have ever existed. I guess that means they're not very good at math. I mean, we had that conversation already. 
What it... Okay, so someone blew out the candles and now they're back. Like, literally instantly. Was that supposed to be a jump scare? I thought I was gonna- I was actually gonna have to walk around in the dark for a second. That's cute. Hey! Are you the spirit of a book? Don't worry about me! Being a spirit has some advantages! For example, I can pass through walls, disappear, and fly! I'm much more unique than the other guy! Really? Do you want to see how I do it? Yes! You want to see me do it again? I'm a... Ooh! That's cool. I am now a ghost. See you later, suckers. Wait, what? Uh, what is the point of this? Maybe I should try doing something. Wow, this is really cool. Have you finished? Not yet. Wow. I'm sure I'm supposed to do something with this power, but I don't know. What's happening in here? Hey, there actually are rooms I can look at. What? What the hell's the point of this? It's just a bunch of butterflies with butterfly effects. I can't do anything here? Is this just a little Easter egg? Is this like a reference to something else that I don't understand? Okay, cool, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're done. I don't know what the point of that was, but all right. Thank you for that, butterfly room. Hey, D don't touch that. Okay. Armoire decorated with a picture of a butterfly. How many butterflies are there? Fuck you, game. I get, I get it. Hey. Danny Phantom. We all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let me do that again. Just stop moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's eleven. Let's go. Armor has been opened. There are butterfly wings inside. That's terrible. Butterfly wings obtained. There are many horror books on this bookshelf. Oh no. Not the horror books. Wait, I just realized something. Can I go down here? Oh, I can. What's over here? What the hell's over here? Ooh, do I gotta put butterfly wings in the concoction to make a potion? I'm preparing this new potion. I just need to find some butterfly wings to complete it. Mm, but where can I find some? Right over here, buddy. Oh, right over here, buddy. Give the butterfly wings? Yeah. This is just what I need. Wait, I'm going to finish the potion. Thank you for helping me. This is for you. Invisibility potion. Ah, now we can get past the ghosts. And also walk through walls to appear. Oh, okay! I thought I was about to get stomped. Uh, you know what? I don't know how long this lasts, but hopefully it lasts long enough. Now no one can see me. Hey, you stupid ghosts. Can't see shit. Okay. We're back to normal. It seems like the potion lost its effectiveness. I wasn't sure if it was timed, but I was worried. I press load. I press load. Classic me. It's okay. At least it was right here. I'm glad I pressed save. Oh yeah, okay. 
90 saves. Let's go. Let's open up this door. Hey. Surrounded by darkness. I can't remember what voice I used for her. Surrounded by darkness, she advanced bravely with her companion. Narrator. Wait, don't go. Uh, my head. Are you okay? Do you need help? I don't understand what's I don't understand what's happening to me. I've been feeling strange for a while. I feel like I'm forgetting something very important. But when I try to remember it, my head hurts. Huh? Something important? Yes. And the pain is more intense when I look at Arya. Uh, wh what am I doing? I am a narrator. I should not tell you about my problems. Why not? I'd like to know more about you. About me? Why? Because I think you're very interesting. Shut up. You, don't, you do not know anything about me. That's why I want to know you better. But what? I, I am a narrator and my duty is to narrate what happens to you. That is all. If you have any problems, I'd like to help you. I knew If you knew how I really am, you would not say the same. It doesn't matter to me. Friends are there to help each other. Friends? Do you consider me your friend? I do not understand it. Lewin doesn't want to talk much, but I'm sure he has the same idea. Yes, that's true. Ah. Ah. Does it still hurt? No, I'm fine. Ah! <laughs> Narrator! Uh. Arya? I... I do not understand. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Arya, there will be someone waiting for you at the end of this area. Hurry up. <gasps> Who? My true self. Now I must leave. I feel confused and I would like to be alone for a while. Okay. Thank you for keeping my secret all this time. Ah? So Lewin knows who that is. I guess. I don't I don't fucking understand what's going on, man. Guess we're about to find out who the true self is. Let's go meet evil narrator or whatever the fuck is gonna happen. I don't even goddamn know. I hope narrator is actually cool though, because she's really, really, really hot. And that's really the into the entire point. So, stuff, yeah, we're not gonna remark upon the blood. I think we should examine that. I think we should have that. Hey, what is this, Pokemon? Thank you. It's locked. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? My head hurts. I think this is what happened to the narrator. Bruh. I wasn't gonna touch this door, dude. Maybe it's just exhaustion. Don't worry, I'm fine. Why don't you rest for a bit? I'll find the key to this door. I don't want to say you're doing nothing. That's not fair. Take this. You obtained Lewin's knife. A knife? You'll be able to protect yourself if something happens. I'm going to go look for the key. I'll be back soon. Don't ignore me. Oh, I need to let you know about something. If you see a pink door, don't open it. If you open it, I'll be very angry with you. Why? Don't open it. That's all. Now that you mention it, you have to tell me about it. Ah! I told you to rest. I'll be right back. Hey, I get to play as Lewin. Lewin. Look at that. Wow. All right, Lewin. Do you get as easily scared? Let's go check this out. Seems I have company. Arya isn't with me if that's what interests you. <sighs> Why are you all so hostile? You shouldn't be like that. I mean the characters in this world, not only you. Your role was to be an obstacle that Arya had to overcome, nothing important. But you're trying to prevent Arya from advancing, even if it means hurting her. Mm. Not even I can predict your actions. I guess that's because I can control the characters I write, but not reality. I have no power here. Anyway, why do you act like this? Uh. Could it be? Are you afraid of disappearing if Arya leaves this place? I see. That's why you try to keep her here. Hmm? Hmm? Don't tell me you're mad at me. In my defense, I must say that wasn't my intention to throw you the... It wasn't my intention to throw you the knife. Actually, we had the same goal before, to kill Arya. Our motivations were different, but the goal was the same. If I kill Arya, this will all end. This er er world was created only for her. That's what I thought, but... I don't care anymore. I don't want to see how someone I appreciate dies again. Uh. I'm gonna protect Arya. If you keep trying to hurt her, I won't hesitate to throw you another knife, and this time you will be my target. 
This library will be my enemy despite being my creation. Do you have something to say? Coward. Okay, so he's a badass. Cool. Oh, a cat. I think they're fascinating creatures. Lewin, why are you such a badass, dude? You can see a beautiful moon through this, the window. The thorns of these roses are very sharp. I can't go through. If only I had a knife. Damn. Okay, well that was interesting. We just got a huge monologue of information. You created this library, huh? Why does his face look like Kappa to me? Statue is blocking the door. Spikes are blocking the door. Plot armor. Hey! I need your help. Could you help me? I'm busy. I don't have time to help you. Wait! You're the only one that can help me! <sighs> Fine. I'm an old book. My pages are worn and the title of my cover has been erased. Could you write it again? My title is very important to me. Sorry, I can't help you. I have a quill, but I don't have any ink. I can't do it. Please, <sighs> help me. I'll try. I can't promise you anything. So I need to find somebody's blood, huh? Looks like wine, but it's actually blood. I think the book would get mad at me if I used his ink. Oh. Well, that answers that question. Gotta go find something that's more inky, huh? Hey. You weren't here before. Thanks for moving out of the way, idiot. Alright, let's look around. Giant book. Okay. Don't do that. Alright, I need to get this giant book somewhere, but where? Ah, to be a bridge to those scissors. Scissors, huh? I don't know how I'm gonna make that into ink, but alright, let's go. Uh, shit? Oh no, we're good. Bridge created. There is a pair of scissors on the table. Take it. You've obtained scissors on the table. Okay, so I got scissors. That's cool, I guess. Now the spike's gone. No. Okay. Arya's resting. I don't. Okay, so I don't go back there. We'll save it up. Scissors. What can I use scissors for? Ah, to cut these. Cool. And now I found an ink pot. Yes. That is convenient. I have quill and ink now. Let us go. Try to write a cover. Did that statue move again? No, he's, he's chilling. Kappa. I'm an old book. Yeah, shut up. Write the title. Yes. Are you going to help me? Thank you. The cover, the title of my cover is Dracula. Don't move. I'm going to write it. Ha ha ha. That tickles. I can't write if you don't stop moving. I'm finished. Sorry, my hand is injured and I can't write well. I don't apologize. This is perfect. Thank you. I feel young again. Are you Dracula, dude? Are you, did, you, did I just resurrect Dracula? Okay, Dracula. Your head! Key on the wall. Rusty key. Got the key. Now I gotta get it back to Arya. Lewin! Oh, it's you. It seems you have recovered your memories. I apologize for any inconvenience I may have caused you. <sighs> yeah, you were truly annoying. Ouch! As always, you aren't afraid to speak your mind. I'm not blaming you. You lost an important part of your memory, so you returned to your former personality. A very annoying personality, I must say. How embarrassing. But I'm glad you're back to normal. <laughs> Thank you. You also remember everything, right? At first, when I arrived here, I couldn't remember that I was part of our past either. That part of our past either. But I managed to remember it before seeing Arya. 
then you always knew that, Arya. Yes, although I don't fully understand the situation. I understand. Everything is so strange. I would like to explain what's happening, but I don't understand it either. Huh? I thought you were involved in this. I'm involved, but I don't know the truth. I see. Luen, what's going to happen now? Arya is... I'll take care of it. I can tell you everything I know. I want to help you in any, whatever way I can. I don't know much, but maybe what I know can, might contribute a little to piece everything together. By the way, where is Arya? She's resting back there. She started having headaches. It's dangerous. She might also remember everything. <gasps> Wait a second. I haven't seen anyone back there. What? Don't tell me that idiot. I hope she didn't open the pink door. What would happen if she opened it? She might remember the truth. Oh no. I have to go. Wait for us at the end of this area. Tell us everything you know. So Arya's evil, isn't she? I'm glad to see you again. I mean, your true self. Did Arya just become pure evil? She was reading a book, and then a book showed up. And walked by, I guess. And then she got super curious and followed the book. Because she's dumb. The book went through this door. This is a pink door? This doesn't look like a pink door. It looks like a purple door. Uh-huh. Horror. That's the pink door, I think. What's this place? This place feels very different. This place connects all the other areas of the library to each other. You can go to any area from here. Oh, that's why it said horror. There's a comedy and stuff. The pink door is the end of the game, isn't it? And this is if I want to backtrack and get any secrets. Were there even secrets in this game? However, only the door of the horror area is open. I see. See that pink door? That's the center of the library. It's a very special place. Oh. I wanted to visit a friend who lives in the romance area, but the door is closed. Romance. The door is locked. Huh? The door is locked. The door is locked. Fairy tales. Comedy. The door is locked, so I have one place to go. I want to keep exploring, you idiot! She said- he said not to go through the pink door! He said not to go through the pink door! A pink door. Lewin told me I shouldn't go to it, but I think I should explore every nook and cranny of this place! What are you, Edgeworth? What should I do? I should think before making a final decision. Don't enter. Wait, that was- Did I just... That was an actual option. What are you doing here? Lewin, did you open this door? I told you not to open it. I didn't open it. You didn't open it? Mm. Hmm, all right. Take this. I found the key to that door. You obtained the rusty key. I want to give you back the knife. By the way, are you feeling better? I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Aha! Don't open that door. Okay. Wait. Alright, whatever. I suppose. I think I might have made a mistake. I don't know yet though. We're, we're just gonna play it by ear. I would I didn't I wanted to listen to Lewin. So I'm gonna do that. The door is locked. Use the rusty key, yes. Okay, what's behind this door? Uh, I can't see anything inside this room. Huh? Arya? Arya, are you there? Okay, we got separated. Where's Arya? Help! Arya! What the hell is happening? I'm not sure. I guess I don't want to be my friends, right? Don't worry, I'm gonna help you. Are you though? This is- this is too high. I have to get- I have to go through here? Of course, I won't stay behind doing nothing. Cut him down. Ugh. Ugh. Are you okay? This is what I should ask you. Uh, are you hurt? I'm fine, but you had to go across that bridge because of me despite being afraid of heights. Besides, your hand is injured. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Stop blaming yourself. In the end, everything went well. Don't worry about it. Lewin, take huh? my hand. Huh? What are you saying? We need to cross that bridge again. Damn it, you're right. <laughs> 
Maybe you won't be as scared if you take my hand. But that isn't necessary. You say that, but you're already taking my hand. Okay, dude. I wonder if I ruined everything by doing that. I hope not. Uh, I'm gonna open the door. I'm gonna enter it. I was thinking about it, and obviously I think most people would choose not to open it if they were feeling sympathetic at all. And the only reason why they would have shown us that whole thing about, um, like, between uh, Lewin and the narrator is so we'd have more information, so we know we're not supposed to. And it's supposed to lean us towards not opening it. I want to open it. Even if this is bad, I guess I can go back and try again. I have multiple save files, so I can always do that. I'm gonna do it. I want to do it. I hope I don't figure out that I'm a monster or something, though, because that would suck. But, um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna open this door. Let's do it. Huh? This is... My room! Why is my room in this place? This is the center of the library. It is very practical. You can access any area from your room, but there's only a copy. Your real room is in your world. My book collection! These are the only found on my bookshelf. I had to put them on the floor. Chess, my favorite game! What's this, a photo? Huh? No, I don't understand. This is impossible. I don't remember this. Uh, my head! Ah, it hurts so much! <laughs> are you okay? Uh, wait, I'm gonna look for help. You don't need to do that. I I'm fine. Paint a photo. Let me take you to the exit. You don't- Why do you need to do that? I was gonna leave anyways, okay? Hope you feel better soon. F you! Alright, never mind. something else here. Wait! Okay, never mind. What are you doing here? Lewin, did you open this door? I told you not to open it. Uh. Answer me, did you open the door? I opened the door. What did you say? I was surprised to see my room, but I didn't see anything strange. Did you see anything that caught your attention? No, I didn't see anything. Mm. Hmm, alright. Take this, I found the key to that door. That's it? You're not gonna be more pissed about it? I want you to get- I want to give you back the knife. Mother, are you feeling better? I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Wait. He decided not to rejoin me, huh? Before he actually just went back next to me. Am I going to die now to the- Wait, 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 let me save. This is gonna be- this is gonna need a different save slot for sure. Okay, um, if he's pissed at me now, is he gonna even help me against these guys? Can't see anything inside huh? this room. Aria, are you there? It looks like the same thing is happening. Okay, so basically the same stuff just happened, and but we opened the room this time and told him the truth that we opened the room, so... I don't know if it's going to change anything. It seems to be the exact same crap, but we'll see. Okay. Thought something just moved. Okay, ghost bunny, ghost bunny boy. Man, I've been, I've been freaking rolling my saves like crazy now. All right, let's go. Okay, what's happening here? Finally, they reached the end of the horror area, just as she had promised she showed them. Her true appearance. Glasses? <gasps> narrator? I am not a narrator, I am only a human. A boring human. In fact, I was so boring that nobody wanted to be my friend when I was little. Everyone ignored me. That's the reason I decided to copy the personalities of the characters in the books I liked. I thought I would be an interesting person if I could, and I could have friends. But glasses make you super cute. But now... I'm not sure which parts of myself are real and which parts of the th things are copied from books. 
Narrator does not exist. She's only one of my personalities. I'm sure you do not comprehend anything I'm saying. I am sorry for saying such things. Arya, you are a girl that loves books and spends a lot of time reading them. A bookworm. Luan also adores books, but he re enjoys writing them. He's a very talented writer. My real talent is not being a narrator, even though it's something similar. I am a storyteller. My duty is to tell tales to other people, especially children and old people. A storyteller? Then why did you narrate what I was doing? I do not know the answer. I'm just doing a favor to someone. A person asked me to narrate everything you did, but I do not know the, pr the true purpose. There is someone else in this library, right? Yes, that is correct. There is someone else. There's someone else trapped in this place? Who? Someone you both know very well. Do you mean it? It can't be. Yes. I must apologize. While I was acting as narrator, I said cruel things, especially to Arya. I am duly sorry for that. It doesn't matter. I'm sure you had your reasons for doing it. But I don't want you to say you're a boring human. You're really a very interesting person. It's not your fault others can appreciate how marvelous you are. <laughs> Thank you. These no words are very nostalgic. Okay. Arya? Your head keeps hurting? That's the same what happened to me before. Maybe I'm also trying to remember something. Mm. I see. Arya, there's something very important you must know. Uh. Wait! Arya, the truth is... Huh? What's happening? <sighs> I'm disappearing? No, it can't be! I understand. I'm not necessary in the story anymore because I decided to stop acting as a narrator. Or maybe I'm disappearing because I should not tell her the truth? Do not worry, I'll be fine. Keep advancing until the end and I'm sure we'll meet again. You see, this whole time you were explaining things while fading out, you could have just finished your sentence. Dahlia. That is my true name. Dahlia. N no! Why? This shouldn't have happened. Oh yeah, we've got to hurry. We need to find the other person that's inside the library. Lewin? Eh? Dahlia. Library. Huh? Well, what are you saying? Books. Uh, rem okay. Aria! I feel like I'm really close to the end. But I don't know if I am or not. I finished reading the book. What do you think about it? I loved it. Your books are always my favorites. Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. But one day you should write a happy ending. Happy endings aren't my specialty. How do you know? You've never tried to write one. Hmm. Oh. Hmm? I'll help you write a happy ending. Uh, Aria, thank you, but you suck at writing stories. Eh, that was very rude. Oh, it's getting late. I should get going. It's true. You should go back home before it gets dark. See you tomorrow. See you. Where did Lewin go? That was, what I, that was a quote at the beginning of the game. Sorry, Lewin. I think I fainted, but I need to tell you something important. Lewin? Lewin, where are you? Maybe he disappeared too. Is this all my fault? Dahlia? Lewin? <laughs> no, I don't want to cry. <laughs> Alright, I must be strong. I must be brave. This story isn't over yet. I am going to become the Hokage. What do you want? What's this, a letter? You obtained Lewin's letter. Read it? Yeah. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. I decided to get to the next area while you were sleeping. There's something I want to see with my own eyes. You're smart and strong. I have no doubt you'll be able to get to the end without my help. It's been fun being by your side. I'm so glad I got to know you. Lewin. So, final area, right? I think we're going to do this chapter in the next episode. Okay, let me read this final chapter. We'll do, we'll, do, well, we'll do all of this next chapter. What's happening? Is there going to be a cutscene? Oh, there's a cutscene. Okay, after this first. What do you think you're doing? You were always so cold. You didn't even greet me. Aren't you happy to see me? Huh? This is all your fault, right? My fault? I think that's an incorrect way of saying it. I think you should say that this is all thanks to me. Aren't you happy? Happy? 
You shouldn't touch wounds that are still healing. Actually, I'm erasing the wound completely. <laughs> this way, there won't be any scars. Despite being the oldest of the group, you've always been the most immature. You have to accept reality. You must overcome your past or else you'll never be able to move on with your life. Lewin, in reality, you're just like me. Your hand proves it. Huh? My hand? Should I remind you how obsessed you became writing that book? Huh. But thanks to that, I understood that obsessing about the past isn't the solution. I'm not obsessed. I just want all of us to have a better life. Hmm. And above all of everything, I want Arya to have the life she deserves. Isn't that what we all want? You aren't considering her feelings. You're doing whatever you want. Hey, stop fighting. Uh. Dahlia, I thought you... I'm fine. Clyde teleported me to another room so I wouldn't tell Arya the truth. Now stop arguing. You argued many times after that day. Don't do it again. It can't be helped. We have different values. <laughs> I don't care what you think of me. I'm going to keep fighting for what I think is right. I will fight for our happiness. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> the happiness you're trying to create isn't real. I know that I'm doing... I know that what I'm doing isn't entirely accurate. But Arya's happiness is more important to me. I don't care what ha what people think of my actions if she can keep smiling. Smiling? Do you think? How do you think she's going to feel if she discovers the truth? <gasps> That's why I'm doing all this. To ensure she doesn't discover the truth. Huh. <coughs> Dahlia, why did you hit us? I already told you to stop arguing. We all need to calm down. Lewin, I knew- I understand why you don't agree with him, but I think we should listen to his side first. I think you two should sh separate and reflect on the situation a bit more. <laughs> After all, we'll meet again and listen to your version of the story. I think it's only fair to hear what you have to say. Dahlia. You always did your best for our sake, and I want to understand why you're doing all this. I'm still mad at you for not telling the truth while I was helping you, though. What would we do without you? I'm okay with that. Wait for me in the last room. I'll tell you the truth when I'm ready. Now I still have to do one last thing. Alright. We'll be waiting for you there. Yeah. I'm super curious to see how this game ends. Okay, save point and... Save point and we end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are getting into this as much as I am. And, um... I don't know if my change is going to have changed anything. I don't know. Should I have gone back? I feel like I literally lost nothing for going inside the room. Everything else played the same. But it might change something later. That I got to see that photo. Which, speaking of which. Photo. Can't look at it. A mysterious photo found in my room. So I'm sure this photo here is going to be important. I just don't know why yet. But yeah, hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the thrilling next episode, which I assume will be the last. See ya!